Season 1, Episode 11, Casting the Suic for Pike. Here is just a little demo of how the Suic works, and you'll get more explanation in this video. Hey guys, it's Andrew, and here's what the, we were using in this episode. This is the Suic. This is the mini Suic, and it's an orange black dot pattern, and then this is the normal Suic. As you can see, this one's bigger than the other one. This one is six inches or seven inches, and I think this one is eleven. And you can just get these at Bass Pro, was where I got them. And to use a suic, you have to tune the tail, which is this back metal part, and you bend it down, or or up, or sideways, or however, because you want it to run straight down, and then you're gonna let it float back up, and then down again and float back up, and you don't want it to touch the top of the water because it's acting like a dead fish and you want it to be a semi-dead fish so that drives the pike and the muskie insane and this is just made out of full wood and drilled in hooks and it's just painted so and then to tune it you just bend the tail down the, bent, the more bent it is the deeper it'll go and the longer time it'll take it to the float to the top but the shallower it is it just goes down a little bit and keeps going up and it's just for faster retrievals or longer retrievals, however you want it. And so this is the one that kept getting crushed. As you can see, it worked very well. There's all the teeth marks and everything. And just basically to tie this on, you just get an 80 pound fluoro leader. You tie a loop knot at the beginning of the suic. You tie a loop knot onto, a, onto this split, split swivel. And then it stays on good and yeah it's not coming off and every once in a while your floral will get frayed and you want to change it because you don't want to lose the fish just because your floral is frayed so this is what we were using this is what it looks like and now back to the so video. that's basically <sighs> the suic right there no no he took my suic and oh my, i just oh want my, you guys oh to my, listen oh to my, these oh next two clips because they totally this is what happened. This is like real fishing, uncut. No, it came off my... I saw it, but it wasn't that, it wasn't that big. Got one. Oh, that was freaking huge. God, I said hard. Oh, my drag slipped. My drag slipped. My drag slipped. So... After I missed those two, it was a bit frustrating because those were the first two f actions I got off the suic. I've never used it before, but now I got it down. I know how to use it. I know how to set the hook every time. On that first clip, I was using one of those quick snaps that don't actually lock. They just it's kind of like a paper clip. And I and then I cast it. I got a backlash. My suic was sitting weird in the water, and I got a pike came up and hit it. And it pulled it right off the quick snap, and now I don't trust those. Not saying they're a bad product, but I don't trust those. So here I'm hooked up. The, this is fun. Suic's fun to use with a lighter pole because you can just totally bomb it all the way down the end of the lake, and you get a good fight out of these fish. So that's the first fish I caught off my the Suic. I was so happy. And yeah, right there. So, this one casted towards shore, and this was like after a couple of hours, and we were just trying to see what would happen if we trolled it out and get the same action. We got we had we found the right speed and the right jerking motion, and we just got it to work, and it was awesome because we didn't think it would work. So, I'm casting off the back of the boat. So I can get some good motion, range of motion, yeah. and get some good casts, long casts, because the middle, the and sides are right high, now. and it's hard to cast over the sides. You'll notice the suic in its mouth, he t-boned it, which is what the pikes do. So they just hit him on the side, which means they don't hit it. The t-bone is when they hit it on the side, so they don't hit it in the front or the back. They just hit nice it right on the side. Yeah, they get the whole thing in their mouth. So this is a, another day just because the pike window, which means like when we catch them and what time, is for us in Minnesota when we go is 5 to 8. 
because as soon as the sun goes down, the pike get inactive because the muskies go and hunt. So this one was weird. I casted it like probably right on top of a spawning bed, and I caught a largemouth bass. And I didn't, I really didn't think I'd catch it because I didn't think a, a largemouth bass would hit a suic half the size of its body. But I guess anything to protect its eggs, right? So. I was in big shock, and then he jumped up at me after I was releasing him, and there's the GoPro. So, in this clip, my grandma and my cousin Jake are untangling Jake's husky jerk out of the net after he just caught a fish, and they said, don't catch one, but I caught one, which probably shouldn't have happened. It wouldn't have happened if they didn't say that, so... And then here's Jake. He's going to go get the boga for me because it's hard to land the fish without a boga because it could bite you or you'd cut your hands on his gills. So we grabbed the boga, got that unhooked, and put him back in the water. So on this one, this one was kind of weird too. Uh, I saw him hit and take it down, so I waited a little bit and then just totally set the hook on it. And It was, boat, it was basically boat side. So it was pretty cool to see him hit. So that's just about it. And thanks for watching, guys.